Hey everyone, Barricade64 here with... Me, Time Lord! This time to review Encore 08 Jazz or Meister. Now, as you can see, he is a reissue of G1 Jazz, who transforms into a Porsche, and you can tell he's called Meister in Japan because all his stickers say it. Give you a tiny, tiny little bit of backstory due to this being a really short review. Um, he is basically the second in command of the Autobot craft known as the Ark under Optimus Prime. He's basically the guy who will rally the troops, um, give a little roll call, and go, Prowl, Sunstreaker, transform and roll hell. Sort of like that. Um, mostly, most of his stuff. Uh, co goes through season one, of course. Um, base mostly, his character is the guy who loves loud music, um, sort of easygoing, uh, boogie on down sort of guy. But until Blaster comes and sort of usurps him from that sort of position, um, that's pretty much it for Jazz. Um, quite a cool character. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Not obviously second in command in the G1 comics, that's down to Prowl, or later on for Magnus, or whatever, but um, that's basically it for character. Uh, you started appearing less and less in the show until the point in season 3 where he was just a racer, really, due to the our dearly deport, departed uh, voice actor, Scatman Crothers, God rest his soul. Um, and that's it. Uh, oh yeah, over to you, Josh. Anyway, uh, on to the transformation. You start by pulling the legs out, lowering them, fold those up, split the legs out, pull his arms apart, pull them out like so, pull his doors out, fold that down, fold this assembly up, and finally fold the hood down, and there you have Jazz in robot mode. Okay, moving on to the aesthetics of the toy. Um, actually, not an awful lot of sticker use in this, despite the original toy. Um, Takara have actually put an awful lot on it for you that's painted on, like the wheels here, the wheel trim, the front of his bonnet here with the logo and the number four, the doors with the Meister and the number four again with the little blue thing. Um, my version's rub sign's a bit loose, but I don't know what's going on there. Oh yeah, on the bonnet, so forth. Uh, and that's basically it for the paintwork. Um, very little stickers and all uh, used at all. I haven't put that much on mine, but basically one for the front bit, one for the grill plate, uh, one for the windscreen with Agent Meister on it. If you can get to it, I uh, can't get to it. Well, it's there anyway. Um, move that thing uh, on the kneecaps. The ones that I haven't added are the ones that are behind here because I really don't see the point of them because you're not really going to be looking underneath the car when you're rolling it around. You basically have two stickers both here. But what's the point of them when you're going to do that for his feet? They're going to be hidden. But that's it. Now he ret now as you can see he's pretty much got the same colors and everything in robot mode except with a little extra added black. Uh, he looks very nice for articulation. His arm He's a G1 toy so he won't have much, but his arms can go 360 degrees if you fold in the door there. They can rotate 360 degrees lower. The wrists can do the same, but they're a little tight. No real articulation other than the arms, unfortunately. Well, that's what you get with a G1 toy. Anyway, going straight into the... Uh the equipment. He has a nice little shiny gun. That's very nice. It's all for show. You can't do anything with it, but it's a nice bit of chrome on there. Um, the real biggie is this attachable sort of engine part. 
I've, I've stuck it to the back of his head because it's the only way I can keep the bugger on. You, I think you're supposed to clip it into the back of his shoulders. But basically, you have a selection of three missiles there. You see, I've used two. One didn't work. This one does. And basically, it's the usual old standard. You've got a nice little button on the launcher here. You press it. You press it. Come on. And it shoots at the camera and knocks it to six. Um, very, very nice. My problem is, why put it on his shoulder? Uh, they really should have added it to his hand or something like that. But then again, I'm sort of we're all living in that age now where they can do that. Um, nice little f additional feature there. That's basically it for the um, the weaponry, the equipment, or the accessories. Uh, and it's basically back to Josh. And that's basically it for Jazz. Uh, for articulation, he gets a 2 out of 5. For aesthetics, he gets a nice 4 because of all the detail. Accessories, he gets a... 4 out of 5, transformation, I give him a 3 out of 5, overall he's a 4 out of 5, a very nice G1 figure, very nice Encore, I would definitely pick him up, uh, definitely buy him if you see him at a convention or anything, you can also get him off online sites like Big Bad Toy Store, TF Source, etc, etc. Okay, there's a few cribbles with my one, I don't know if it works for everybody else's, but every time I've transformed this guy, I cannot do it without these things, the doors, just simply... Oh, they're not going to do it now. But they simply just cut... Oh, there we go. They just spring off. Um, nothing you can do about it. They just come off every single time. And they're looser than the worst offenders, the alterna alternators and the... Um, the... The universes they really are, they are that flimsy. Also, on my one, he's very, very uh, rubbly. He can never stand up straight, no matter how far you lock him into place. If I put him down now, he's gonna flop again, and then he is, yeah, floppy, floppy, floppy. He's like a drunken sailor, you can, you, ugh. And he's down, he's on face first on my table. Um, Apart from that, articulation really is all down to the arms. Um, like Josh demonstrated, um, basically like that, you can pretty much do anything. Bend at the uh, elbow, go that way, go that way. Arms, brilliant for articulation, but that's all you get for it. Um, he's as a toy, he's best in his uh, car mode, he's pretty with his wheels fine, um, but as a robot, pretty to look at you're gonna have a hard time trying to keep the stand up and also this thing like Josh demonstrated or did he? No I demonstrated Josh did it in his version before the rough edit but you cannot do it the way you're supposed to putting it in the shoulders where it's just going that's it but apart from that basically a really good toy for its time um, I'd give it I'll give it a 4 for its transformation, that's been a tiny bit generous, maybe a 3.5. Articulation, because it's mostly just his arms, I'll give it a sort of 2.5. Um, weaponry, well it's got a shooting launcher, that's good, that's really really good, we'll give that a 3. Okay, um, that's basically it. Oh, aesthetics, brilliant, paint works nice. Uh, the application of stickers, fantastic. Apart from the fact they got the name wrong, but then again it's Takara, not Hasbro. Um, yeah, I'll give the I'll give that a, a nice 4.5. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, this is Time Lord signing off, and it, it's also goodbye from. Anyway, this is Barry 64 See you next time. Live long and prosper.